All right, so right now I'm on the way to meet one of my friends, okay? And last time we met up was about two years ago. And we went iguana hunting, y'all, and we caught some pretty nice ones. I'm not gonna lie, some pretty big ones. So he ended up taking one home, and I guess he was gonna, you know, make it his pet. I told him, like, look, man, these iguanas are wild and feral, dude. They're, they grew up in the wild, they don't like humans. Um, you know, I don't think it's a good idea, dude. You could get bit or scratched or yeah, who, who knows guys, who knows? Anyways, he called me, he said he's in town and he said he has trained and he has spent almost every single day with this iguana and he's worked with it. And apparently he has this thing trained like a puppy dog. So we're going to go meet him right now. We're gonna go see this iguana. I've, like I said, last time I seen my friend and this iguana was about two years ago. So let's go see and, and see if he really trained a wild iguana and he made it like a puppy dog, guys. Let's go. Oh, shoot. I think he remembers you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I promise that you're a stranger. Calm down, buddy. Okay, buddy. It's okay, it's okay. He yeah. probably does remember me because I remember him. So you do he, remember him. Yeah, he was cool just now, and then he just see me, and he just went crazy. He remembers me. Hey, what's up? How you doing, man? I'm good. Uh, it's okay, buddy. It's beautiful. Let him lick it. Lick your hand. He won't bite you. He won't. Show up under his chin. Yeah, he's hungry. Part of his problem. He's hungry. He's nervous. True, true. He has true. not ate. And we've just been reunited. Last time we met, we, yeah. it wasn't the best He encounter. actually munched on my finger. Okay. Just take my finger for food. Okay. Okay. I remember you. Like he munched on your finger. He was, yeah, he was the pretty one. All the, the stripes. Yeah. yeah, I remember you, buddy. Wow. wow. I do remember this one. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Wow. See, uh, I say I'm on the table at the flea markets when I go. So many people walk by all the time. And he and, just stays uh, there? People just walk up and pet him. It could be that he remembers you. It's he does very, remember. very possible he remembers you. He just up and down me. Did, like you caught him with the catch pole, correct? Yep. So he may remember That's you. probably a very traumatic experience uh, in his life. It's probably only happened like once. And look at him. I know, buddy. I remember you and you remember me. But it's okay. Because now you are a puppy dog. You are no longer an iguana. But guys, anyways, this is my friend Lee I was talking to you guys about. Last time we met, it was about like two, three years ago. We caught this iguana together. Ever since then, guys, he has been working diligently, day in, day out, working with this animal, and he's got it pretty trained for the most part, where the iguana is not trying to bite. Now, obviously, the iguana still has bad taste in his mouth, because last time we met, I taught him a super fat lesson, and I bagged him. <laughs> but it's, for the... it's either he remembered you, or it's just the fact that you come around the corner and was approaching him that spooked him. True, true. Maybe he thought I was a, a predator and I was preying on him or something. Mm -hmm. And he was gonna, about to get ambushed, which what is what happened when we first met, too. I did ambush him as a predator. Mm -hmm. But as you guys can see, he looks like he's pretty calm and he's pretty chill. Look at that, guys. He's not even trying to run. He's not trying to bite. He knows he's not in trouble. So how like, how many hours have you worked with this guy? Like, day, like uh, weekly? Daily, uh, 15, 20 minutes a day. So weekly, that's probably about like maybe like three hours, four hours a week, right? At least, right? At least. But it it only took me technically two months, about two months before he started eating, accepting strawberry out of my hand. Guys, he is in a new environment right now. He's hungry. And he is hungry. He sees all this temptation. He sees all this temptation. <laughs> maybe you should put a leash on him, you know? Well, I, didn't bring, I don't have a leash for his size right now. Did he jump on my shoulder? Will he be okay or no? Or is he, he a little? Just pick him up. Put him he's a little edgy right, right now. He, right now, he's uh, he's in his uh, mood where he's just wanting to climb down and yeah, go try and to explore. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. He was, he was getting hot on the way here, so I actually took the and sink, sprayed him down. Oh, okay. Okay. So guys, we're not gonna we're not gonna so, say guys that you can just yeah. go out there and catch a wild iguana and he's gonna be a pet. Remember, with any wild animal, guys, it requires a lot of time, a lot of responsibility, a lot of husbandry, guys. These are big animals, and they need to be treated with respect. You can't put a, a six-foot lizard in a three-foot cage and expect you're going to train him, guys. That's animal abuse. you got to know the requirements 
and all the specifications needed to care for these animals. If not, guys, it's going to be bad. He's either going to not want to eat, he's not going to get tamed, and eventually he might even die. So know the requirements for the animals and understand, guys, that it's going to take a lot of time to work with wild animals to get them where they're puppy dog. But for the most part, he's cool. Hey, buddy. Well, he's probably ready to take some strawberries and some turnip greens from my hand. Okay, or so yeah, I, I think he's probably hungry. So yeah, let's see, let's see if we can feed him something. This is pretty unheard of. I, I heard a lot that it's impossible to tame a wild adult iguana into a pet. But as you guys can see, he feels like he's on a perch. He's chilling. Let me see. See, whenever I get next to him, he gets. He it's gets okay. feisty. It's okay. He's got PTSD. Uh, he does have PTSD. That's he's gonna just sit on Ninja's shoulder right there, and he's gonna flare his dewlap. So I'm gonna stay away from him, guys, because he remembers me. He feels safe with the ninja, but for me, guys, he he doesn't like me, guys, and I I get it. I get it. I taught him a fat lesson, and he still remembers that. So he's just gonna chill on Ninja's back like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna try some uh, strawberries, some, some turnip strawberry. greens, maybe. <laughs> okay, so these are the foods that There's he likes to greens. eat. A turnip, turnip green. green. Okay. okay. And he gets to eat farm fresh strawberries. Ooh. I got some strawberries for you, bud. Will he just eat it off Ninja's back like that? He might. Okay. I might have to uh, hold, hold on, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go up to him, go up to him. Do it again, do it again. He wants it. Come here, buddy. Here's what I'm gonna have to do. Okay. Let him know what the deal is. Sometimes I have to give him a little bit of motivation. Oh. There he is. There he is. Mmm. Yummy iguana. See, this is basically what I did when I first got him, started training him, trying to tame him. As you can see, guys, he's eating right out of his hand. Nice. On someone's shoulder. Come on, buddy. He has every chance to bite him. But I think part of his problem is nervousness right now. Absolutely. Yeah. He's looking right. I, I see when he looks at me, he gets nervous. The last time he was on camera, he was getting caught. Exactly. He was about to be turned into dinner. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I was about to turn him into a stew. <laughs> and now he's back over here and he's a pet. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. He loves them berries, y'all. He loves them berries. Like I said, guys, I don't recommend you keep a grown iguana unless you know what you're doing, all right? They're wild caught. I don't recommend it. But if you got the time, you got the knowledge, you got the space, and you got the dedication and respect, anything is definitely possible. But, you know, these wild ones... I mean, when they're adults, they're already, some of them are set in their ways. There's no turning back. So I want everybody to know that. But if you have a lot of time, you know what you're doing. Anything is possible, guys. Look at that right there. He's eating them strawberries right off Ninja's back. Anything is possible, guys. Look at that right there. He's eating them strawberries. All right, he's had his, his fruit. Now he's about to have his veggies. Must eat a well-balanced diet. It's what I did when I... Uh... He was, uh, I would put him up on a chair, like a stack of pillows or towels. Mm -hmm. I okay. kept my hands off his body. When you put your hands around the body, you know they freak out. Yeah. Right? So instead of grabbing him by his body, all I did was grab a hold of the dewlap, use my other finger, get his mouth open enough so I could slip that turnip green in there. Ooh, Sometimes ooh. he pulls away. It's okay. It's okay. There he is. There he is. Feels like putting a dollar bill in the coin machine. There you go. Look, oh my goodness, look how he's just eating that whole thing like that. He just needed a little motivation, that's all. Yeah, I don't blame him, he's nervous. I mean, he's seeing me, he's on top of Ninja. So I think that's really good, especially for him having PTSD or whatever. But you see guys, what you gotta do is like, if you have a traumatic experience, you gotta leave that in the past and you gotta move forward, y'all. And that's exactly what this iguana is doing right here. This iguana, I was about to turn him into some curry, y'all. <laughs> but our friend Lee right here, he took him, and as you guys can see, he's turned him into basically a pet. He's sitting on Ninja's shoulder, he's eating turnip greens, guys. And it just goes to show that with the right amount of patience and knowledge and, and love and care, guys, anything is possible to tame iguanas. The great Tom Crutchfield told me an interesting quote. 
you will know the animal is tame when no longer you're afraid of him or he's afraid of you. And I think right here, you definitely accomplished that, dude. Good yes. job, man. Yeah, Tom Crutchfield had mentioned uh, two and a half foot or high, anything above two and a half foot, the iguana will die in captivity. Yeah, that's what he said. This Amen. iguana was three, three to three and a half foot when I got it. It might be about four foot now. I've had it for two years. And he's still alive and well. Still alive. I think Tom was just saying that as a generalization to the average, you know, uh, person to grab one. But obviously, you know what you're doing. This ain't your first rodeo. And, uh, you know, if you spend a lot of time with any animal, you know what I'm saying, and you right. give them he the right amount of space. He was my biggest success so far. Interesting. Interesting. Tom was just probably saying that as a generalization. But... Okay. Very rare cases, you know, this can this can happen. A wild born, wild raised, and wild captured iguana, guys. Wild hatched iguana. Wild hatched, wild hatched. And look at him right. Oh, uh -oh. He's, going for that he's, tree. he's looking at the tree. He wants to go climbing, of course. All right, well, of course, you ain't going to do that, buddy, because we're going to bring out the air rifle if you go up there. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> we're going to bring up that air rifle now, and hey. And the iguanas feel more, sec more secure when you're handling an iguana. What's the best way you handle them? They you just feel throw more them? secure when you have their legs out parallel like this. Ooh, they feel more right. secure when you hold them this way. Perfect. All right, hold on one all second. All fours planted. Out here, hold this real quick, if you can, Ninja. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can just interact with this guy. I don't want to freak him out. You should be able to. It's just you might have just. You see when I'm getting close to him? him? You see how he's breathing, right? You see how he's. You start. caught him off guard. When um. He ain't gonna bite me, right? He yeah. hasn't bit me. He didn't do it to me. Hey, buddy. He's at the, had the opportunity to bite dozens and dozens of people when I was at the flea markets. People he never seen. He just met me before, and he was on top of my head. He See, took my ear. I'd have him sit on the table, and people just walk by and didn't even notice that he was real. Well, you know what, man? I know we had some bad past, but let's put that behind us. You know, let's start a new friendship. Break off a piece. You do the what are able to do that. Look at him. He's curious. Use your thumb and index finger. So I pull this down a little bit. And use another finger to push the upper jaw open. I'm not putting my, my hand up in there, boy. <laughs> 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 All right, Mr. Iguana. <laughs> it seems like some things will just never change, guys. <laughs> he likes Lee, but obviously he it's does not water. like me. And I don't blame it him, guys. It was unusual with him yes, uh, last <laughs> night at home, when I was at home. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Okay, but I let him out of the shower, uh, wiping up a little bit of poop he smeared on the bathroom floor, and I was just crouched down like this. He goes behind me and just crawls up on my back on my shoulder. Oh, smack. He's cool. You tamed him good, bro. That was the he... first time he did that. I just don't want him to tail whip me. Come here, buddy. That's the thing. He will not tail whip people. Look, he will eating... tail whip a cat or oh, a dog. Okay. okay. Let me see. Come here, buddy. Oh, he's strong. He's strong, he's strong. Okay. Always, just whoa, like whoa. that. Okay, okay, okay. Just relax, Very buddy. simple. Just slip your hand up under his chest. I, I'm pretty sure he definitely remembers you, dude. Oh, hand absolutely, up. dude. I can just tell. He's, 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 this is the only person he's reacting with like this. I'd imagine all the iguanas around here are spreading word about you, You got it easy. Dude. Come here, buddy. It was harder when he was wild. Come here, buddy. I know. Force me. I know. Let's try it one more time, all right? Just eat it. We're friends, mm -hmm. okay? Oh my God, we're gonna put that behind us. You're no longer wild and invasive. You are a pet and you are registered and, and the owner has a permit for you. It's okay. I know, just eat the berry. Oh God, go, go, go. <laughs> he's like, I hear yeah, him no. hissing. I hear him hissing, now he's starting to arch. Now he's starting to arch his back. He's starting to arch his back. That's a good shot, Bryce. Come here, buddy. We just gotta just feed you one of them and we'll leave you alone, I promise you. You don't ever got to see my mug again. Oh, okay. Thumb, middle finger on the dewlap. Here, if you could help me open it, I'm going to throw index it. index finger, too, for the upper jaw. I'm putting on my index finger. Now we're near it. See that. what we're doing? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, I see. I know. I know. You're so a baby. You okay, let me try. See if you can do it kind of quick. Okay. See if you can help me do it right now. Come here, buddy. I know. You're just a big baby. So as you guys can see, I mean, anything is possible. Anything is possible, guys. If this wild-caught iguana 
can be tamed where for the most part he's like a puppy dog he still Try remembers me obviously anything is possible Try that guys. Way. anything is possible come here buddy i know i do not blame you for being upset there he is i know it's okay let's make a truce all right whoa, whoa. whoa. So this, so when you're riding around in the car, this thing just sits in the front seat and you put the seatbelt on. He stayed on at the rear glass the whole trip. He, he slipped. He, right wore, there. he wears a seatbelt and everything, just like a normal kid, guys. This is insane. Laying down on the quill. You just eat it, buddy. I know you're a big baby. All right, guys. Well, you know what? I I don't know what to say. I think that's absolutely insane. What our friend did. That's amazing. And like I said, that just goes to show that anything is possible. Do I recommend you go out and catch a, a, a six-foot iguana and try to make it your pet? Absolutely not. But if you have the time, if you have the passion, if you know about these animals and you are willing to sacrifice everything to get him under control, it takes time. I'd say, you know, uh, do whatever you want. Really, it was nice running back into you. Buster. Pleasure, bro. I know, man. Nice running back into you, too. He does. He's still, like I said, guys. Some things will never change. Maybe he'll never forgive me. It's okay. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you were Buster, would you forgive me now that things have changed or would you still hold a grudge? Yeah. Like I said, some things might never change.